So a year ago, the Myanmar military arrested Aung San Suu Kyi, President Nguyen Myint, and took power uh, in Myanmar. This came after 10 years in which the military had stepped back and allowed elected civilian governments to run day-to-day -day affairs while they retained control of the security sector. There was an enormous uh, societal resistance uh, to a military takeover. People's memories were still very fresh of the last military regime, which dissolved in 2011. And so there'd been these 10 years of hope and a feeling that the future would be better than the past, and that was taken away. And so especially young people felt that their futures had been stolen. And so there was resistance. There was concerted nationwide resistance, initially in the form of mass public demonstrations, millions of people out on the streets of Yangon and other cities and towns in the country. The military responded with extreme violence. It has shot and killed more than 1,500 civilians in, in the year since the coup. And you know, this drove people not uh, to give up, not to decide that you know, it wasn't worth it or, or, or that they would be cowed into uh, submission. Rather, it prompted uh, a, a nationwide resistance movement. People began to defend themselves, to defend their communities, and then go on the offensive. There's also a very strong political nonviolent resistance movement that continues. And so the coup has, in a sense, done what nothing else has been able to do in Myanmar's recent history, which is unite everyone across ethnic lines, across religious divides, across uh, societal divisions. The country is almost unanimous in not wanting to go back to the dark days of military rule. So these broad-based resistance movements and the military look, look like they will be locked in a violent confrontation for months, if not years, uh, to come. And that, of course, is having a huge impact uh, on the welfare of, of the population. The coup has undone a decade of economic growth. It sent the country back to where it was 10 or 20 years ago, and it's getting worse. But the hope, I think, uh, is that the coup has set off a new politics in Myanmar. The youth of the country are at the forefront of resistance to the coup, and they bring fresh ideas, more open minds, and the ability to transcend some of the deep divisions of the past. The terrible situation in Myanmar has not received sufficient international attention. Myanmar needs to be a much greater international priority because its problems will not be contained within its borders. One critical thing is to support the population of Myanmar through this crisis, and that means provision of humanitarian assistance, uh, but also it means longer-term support to health and education and livelihoods and supporting civil society. Addressing the situation in Myanmar will require considerable political dexterity. And that means uh, leadership from the United Nations in country is, is very important. It means that uh, capitals can't just allocate funds. They need to allocate uh, attention and diplomatic uh, efforts to this because it will not be easy to reach people in need and it will not be easy uh, to deliver uh, services and support uh, in the current context. And so, you know, really uh, the future of Myanmar is going to be written by the protagonists in Myanmar. It's going to be written by the Myanmar people. Uh, and you know, they are looking to the world, not just for support, which they feel there hasn't been enough of, but for understanding uh, that the path they're engaged on is not a, a civil war. It's not, it's not a classic two armed groups battling it out with a, with a population suffering as a result. This is most of the population of the country resisting an attempted military takeover. And they, they, they hope that the world will see it in those terms and understand it in those terms. But right now, in the minds of most Myanmar people, uh, it's not about talks, it's not about negotiation, it's about preventing the military from being able to consolidate its control of the country.